And just like that, folks, another day's in the book for the stock market. And we had all the indexes somehow creep back into the green. Well, I guess the Russell was green all day, but the NASDAQ and the S&P, they were red and they ended up going green. The S&P closed up a quarter percent. The NASDAQ pretty much broke even, but it did go up about 0.05%. And we had the Dow go up 0.6 as the Russell crushed it up over 1.6% on the day. And we had the VIX up around 1.6 as well as gold went down 0.1 and we had silver over up a quarter of a percent. So in this video, like we always do, guys, we're going to break down how the markets did, the charts here, my thoughts. We're going to break down stocks, what I'm looking to do in the markets. But before we do that, of course, don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video, by going down below and simply opening up an account and funding it with at least 100 bucks. If you do that, you get five stocks right off the bat, each up to 2,000 bucks, and fund your account with at least 1,000 bucks. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks, and listen to this guys fund your account at least five thousand bucks on top of those 15 stocks you also get a free share of either tesla stock or google guaranteed and that part of the promo is limited time guys so use that link down below and of course that is an affiliate link i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said let's dive right into the video so like i said guys earlier in the day spy and triple q were in the red you guys can see here in the pre-market spy was at about 436 437 and we ended up closing almost at 440 bucks per share meaning we had a pretty nice rally throughout the day spy covered around 0.75 percent of ground not bad there guys as triple q intraday let me see how much uh that ended up going up from the lows to where it closed at so it looks like we hit 363 in the middle of the day here on triple q and that closed at around where 367 so it moved roughly one percent from the low to where it closed which is actually good for the bulls and you guys can see we close on an upswing which you can't complain about that again a move of around one percent not bad and if we pull up the five day five minute on triple q you guys are going to see actually wait let's pull up the 10 day chart we're still in this downwards channel we are on the uh, 10 day 30 minute chart and we have been here over the past one two three four five and today being the sixth trading day you guys can see here so for me to be like okay bulls are 100 percent in charge now triple q needs to break 367 the highs from today pretty much and we have to break the 180 sma on this 30 minute chart and we have to break out of this channel pretty much same thing here on spy guys which if i pull this up you can see on the 30 minute chart we're in this channel as well and we're right under the 180 sma at about 440 bucks uh which needs to break and if we do start breaking above 440 441 442 that's where we could really start to take off maybe towards the recent highs being around where, where do we hit earlier in july guys about uh 444 445 maybe that breaks and we go up even more from there time will tell what do you guys think let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and of course if you find value in the videos hit that like button make sure to subscribe it is free guys hit that subscribe button i appreciate you all as always and now let's talk about some movers here we had a lot of stocks do pretty well today and we talked about sofi already earlier DraftKings. Palantir, all of those did very well. We had DraftKings up over 8% on the day. That's amazing. We had SoFi do uh, do very well, up around 8% as well, over 8% on the day. We had Palantir up around 7%, about 6 uh, actually more like 6.5%. Still very good. Palantir is now uh, breaking out of the uh, you know recent highs. We're starting to break out again. And Enphase started to cover some ground today, up over 5.5%. And now we're starting to see a golden cross on the 30 minute chart we're taking out the highs from the last couple of days and we're starting to creep up on the 20 day chart as well not fully breaking out yet but we are showing signs of the you know the beginning uh, stages of a reversal in my opinion and, and on the four hour chart we're not fully breaking out like i said uh, but we are slightly above the moving averages and we're slowly starting um, you know, to gain a little bit of momentum. Let's see if we can start pushing above, let's say 185, 190, 200. That's where I think uh, Enphase could really start to turn around. We had GameStop do pretty well today. GME's the ticker up over 3.5%. Not breaking out yet, but it could be. As we are noticing,
interesting. It is trading in a wedge. Let me actually pull this up and show you guys. We have higher lows being made, but at the same time, we have lower highs. So let's see what direction we pick. I'll put my alert. I have one at 26, but I might as well put another one at uh, $24.50. Let me do that now. Mark is at or above. And I'll put another one at Mark is at or below, maybe. Eh. 22.50. Let me do that now. Uh, Mark is at or below. Let's do that. So GME, keep your eyes on it. We also had Intel do fairly well today. Let me actually pull up some of these, uh, you know, chip or the uh, the semiconductors, guys. Intel looks like it's bouncing off the 180 SMA, which is good. We're holding above the highs from the end of uh, April, heading into May, June, which is good. Those highs being about 31, 32. We're bouncing uh, now near the 50 SMA, which is a big resistance, guys, and it's been resistance over the past uh, couple of weeks. But if this does start to break on Intel, we start taking out 34, 35, uh, 33 even, we could start gaining momentum and start going ballistic from there. Maybe back towards the high 30s, maybe 40 bucks, guys. Earnings are coming up here on Intel fairly soon, so I'm keeping my eyes on it. And of course, I'm looking at AMD, which today went up around 0.4%. Not crazy, really nothing, honestly. Pretty much at break even. And you guys can see now it's uh, pretty much sandwiched between the 50 and the 180 SMA here on the four hour chart. Let's see what direction we pick. I'm thinking right around. 117 18 that's the breakout spot for amd let me tell you why it's because let me set my alert first because 118 held that support in the end of may into june and it's been resistance over the past uh, couple of weeks stemming back from the uh, end of june uh, really just the, the past two weeks end of june early july so if we break 118 i think we fill the gap to the mid 120s on AMD, maybe we start breaking out towards 130 uh, from that point, which you guys know we hit back in the end of May, also in the middle of June. That could be where we go potentially. So my alert is set at 118. We had uh, Coinbase, man. Holy crap. This thing just keeps on going up over 3% on the day, continuing the breakout of this channel. It closed over 80 bucks per share on the day. Nuts. CCL2, guys, this thing just keeps on going. Now it's almost at 20 bucks a share. CCL today went up 26 cents up 1.3 percent pretty good and let me see <coughs> holy crap guys i'm about to choke let me see here visa is another one that i'm looking at which is slowly starting to break out of this ascending triangle that we've been calling out over the past uh, couple of videos and the fact that now we're starting to break above 235 that's a really good sign you know we're starting to uh, push towards 240. That's pretty good here on um, Visa. And they're reporting earnings later this month, guys. Like I've been saying all, uh, you know, the, the beginning of this month, earnings are coming up in the second half of July. And we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Visa is coming up pretty soon here. And MasterCard's another one that's slowly starting to break out. You guys can see this ascending triangle that we've called out. Let me redraw it and make it look a little bit better. There we go. That's starting to play out. <clears throat> we're trading at a multi month month high, which is great. So these are a couple of names right now that I'm looking at, guys. Nothing crazy. What sold off today? Google, guys. Look at that. Google sold off today, which I did nibble a little bit of Google in my Patreon portfolio. That was on uh, Friday. And if you guys want to be a part of the Patreon, see me build out this portfolio, all the moves, full transparency, plus more, check out the link down below. Check it out. Try it out if you guys want to. No pressure. And this is one that I'm looking to buy more of in that portfolio. I actually bought more on Friday. Looking to buy more now as well as, um, you know, if it gets down to 110.15, as now today went down almost 3%. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Going to keep it a little bit short for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to get your free money from Moomwop. The 16 stocks, each up to 2000 bucks. Fund your account at least 100 bucks Using that link down below, you get five stocks right off the bat. And fund it with at least 1000 bucks You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And listen to this, guys. Fund your account at least $5,000 on top of those 15 stocks, you also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Google guaranteed. So guys, get on that. The clock's ticking. Use that link down below. And of course, that is an affiliate link. It helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in the next video.